¿Dónde está la mañana de Lila? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? ¡Ah! ¡Aquí! ¡Shave it up! Everybody, Clean Shaver here. I apologize for my weak attempt at Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. Oh well, this apparently does. Who knew Canadians could speak Spanish? I'm just kidding, that's incredibly offensive. Don't quote me on that. So uh, this is a soap review of First Canadian Shave Soap Company's Mañana de Lila. And uh, let's get right into it. I did shave with this several times before I did this review, but uh, failed to catch it on video when I was shaving. Oops, it's been a busy week, I forgot. But, I couldn't forget to review this. This is really quite an interesting soap, something that I haven't really done before. I haven't done a lot of very floral scents, typically because they don't really uh, appeal to me all that much, but this one is really interesting. So, a little bit of background on First Canadian Shave Soap. So this is owned by Brian Hoffman, who is actually an optometrist by trade and he's worked for several years developing a soap. Not sure how he got from optometrist to soap maker, but you know, there are weirder journeys to go on. So anyway, Brian Hoffman makes this soap and I've actually done a review on their, their bay rum and lime before. You can watch that video up here. And uh, really enjoyed using that soap. And this one's no different. So let's get into the points. I grade on four things for soap, lather, post shave feel, scent, and value. Okay, now on this, the lather, I grade on quality of lather, ease of lather, the slickness, the cushion, protection, all that. So for this lather, I'm actually going to give it an 8.8. .8. Wasn't quite deserving of a nine. I didn't feel like knocking it down to a, an eight. Um, so I found a pretty good middle ground there. The soap itself is very slick, is, uh, is moderately well cushioning and I personally maybe it's because I have really hard water but I couldn't get a real th great thick lather out of it that being said this is designed for straight razors and straight razors you typically look for a slicker lather rather than a thicker lather slicker not thicker so there is that uh, so 8.8 .8 on this I, I believe it is a good uh, Good lathering soap, it does produce a lot of lather very easily, um, and like I said, very slick, but I think it was lacking a little bit on cushion and protection for me, personally. The post-shave feel on this, I'm giving that an eight. I think that there's some room for improvement, and it might just be, again, that I have hard water, I have dry skin, but something in this irritated my skin just a little bit, and it didn't leave me feeling dry, but I think it, it, it did irritate me just a little bit. And that might be more related to the scent, but I, I for post shave feel, good. I gave it an eight out of 10, but uh, I think that there's some room for, for improvement there. Now on the scent, the scent on this soap is Lila, it's lilac. And like I said, I'm not typically a fan of very floral scents, but this one actually works pretty well. Uh, the, the scent signature on this is Lilac and Neroli, with a base of vetiver and sandalwood, a mid-tone of ylang-ylang. I'm never sure how to say ylang-ylang. Y-L-A-N-G, Y-L-A-N-G. I'm not sure how to say that. And rosemary. And then top notes of bergamot and lemon. So you kind of get the feeling, uh, to me, it smells like, yeah, it, it reminds me of laying down in the dirt underneath my grandma's lilac bush and then having like a, a citrus orchard down the road just a little bit. It's, it's, it puts me right there. So in that regard, the scent is very reminiscent for me. It brings back a lot of memories for me, which is something that scents can absolutely do. It's supposed to take you someplace and give you a feeling, not just smell good. It's supposed to remind you of something. And that actually definitely has happened for this. On the flip side, I don't know that it's something that I personally would want to smell like every day. And so while I feel like the scent is very good, it is very, it's, it's strength is right there in that good spot. It's not overbearing. It's not 
too flowery, but it is, it's lilac. And so I don't mind it, but I'm not in love with it. And so I, I give it an 8.5 on the scent. Very, very, it's very good, but not quite for me on a daily basis. I couldn't see myself shaving with this every day. So there is that. Then value. So on their Etsy page, this sells for $14.62. Not sure how they came up with that number. I think it's just a conversion from Canadian dollars. But $14.62 for a four ounce tub, plus $7.89 for shipping and handling. But that shipping and handling cost covers as much soap as you'd like to get. So there is that. The $14.62 comes out to about $3.65 an ounce, which is above what I'm usually comfortable paying for uh, on, on an ounce basis. But it is good soap, and it could be a real knockout of the park for a lot of people. So I'm okay with that. It's a little bit higher than I would generally like to go, but I'm okay with that. So on value, I decided to give it 8.5. Definitely not perfect for me, and I think it's a little bit overpriced, but I think that that's probably because of the exchange rate between Canada and here, and I understand that there's going to be some price difference. So that's, I'm okay with it. So 8.5. That comes to a score of 33.8 out of 40, which rounds out to 84.5% or 85% or a B. So it's good. It's a good soap. I, I really do enjoy using it. And my wife really likes the smell of it. In fact, it's supposed to be a gender neutral scent. So men and women can both enjoy it. They recommend using Aqua de Gio with it and a couple of other or scents that can go along with it. Uh, I can see that working very well. I usually paired uh, Sapone de Paolo's Agrume post or aftershave balm, and then a, uh, a fougere type uh, aftershave, like uh, Brut, uh, traditional Brut would work pretty well with this. Very good soap. It, it's, it's solid, it's a good performer, and I think that it could be a real knockout of the park for a lot of people. It's just not quite there for me, mostly because of the scent. And I think some, because of where I am, I don't get the perfect lather out of it. So that being said, if you have not tried First Canadian Shave Soap Company, I would recommend them. Uh, they do make a very solid product, and Brian is a great guy. He's been great to work with. Uh, we've chatted on numerous occasions, and uh, he, he's an excellent guy. So I would highly recommend that you, that you check him out. I'll put a link down to their Etsy shop, uh, to this soap in particular, down in the description section below. If you'd like to watch my video where I review Mason Boutique's Vivian Soap, you can check that out down here. And if you'd like to watch my video where I outline my top five soaps of 2015, I'll put that down here as well. Be sure to comment below, like, favorite, share if you'd like. Uh, you can also find me on all my social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google+, Voice Byte, Snapchat, all those things. And uh, love to hear from you. As usual, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Be smooth and shave it up, everybody. See you next time.